Hello. Good evening, my dear children. How are you all doing? I know schools have begun and you're having a lot of fun. But today is Sunday and Sunday we all are at home. And I look forward to seeing you all for the Sunday story with Mindseed Preschool and Daycare. So today's story is about a little giraffe whose name was Ginger. Hi, Ginger. How are you doing? We all have come to see you. Do you know what? Where does Ginger stay? Ginger stays in Kenya, a country which is named Kenya in Africa. We all stay in India in the continent of Asia. The ginger stayed in Kenya. And you know where? In the grasslands of Kenya, in the savannas. Yes, let's all take a trip to the savannas and see what's happening there. Oops, but you know what? It is very, very hot right now in the savannas. And there is a lot of sun all day. There are no rains. All the animals are waiting for the rains to come. Now, who can tell me? Why do they wait for rains? Because the rains will make the savannas, the grasslands, green with yummy, yummy grass and leaves for all the animals to eat. Yes. The monkeys, the hippos, the elephants who all eat leaves, even zebras, even the deer. They all love to eat green, green grass and leaves. So they were all feeling very, very, very sad because they didn't have food to eat. The grass had dried up. It had turned all yellow. And it didn't taste nice. But you know, for Ginger, it wasn't a task. Because there are a few trees also in the savannas. And as you know, all the giraffes who have a long neck and long legs to eat the grass from the top of the tree. Used to eat the grass from the top. Stop. See, look at Ginger. Isn't he happy having green, green leaves? But that was not the case with other animals. Even if the monkeys could jump, could jump from one tree to another, but not at the treetop. He couldn't reach and he didn't have any food to eat. So he went to the giraffe, to Ginger the giraffe for help. Ginger, please, I am dying out of hunger. Please, can you help me with some leaves? Oh, yes, my dear friend. Now, Ginger was a nice little giraffe and he would love to help his friend. So he plucked a leaf from the tree and gave it to the mouse. The monkey. Yum, 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 yum. He was so happy. I was about to die. Really, really, giraffe. But you helped me. So that must be the case with all the other animals, isn't it? Yes, yes. What do we do? The monkey and giraffe, ginger the giraffe, they decided to go to Leo. Leo, the king of the jungle, the lion. Wow. Lion stayed on the other side of Savannah. But Ginger could do anything to meet his friend, anything to help them. So they decided to walk to the Savannahs. I'm feeling very tired. Said the monkey. Oh, yes, I know what you mean. 
come and sit on my back. So there, both the friends walked all through the savannas to meet the lion. Now Leo the lion, who was merrily sleeping on one of the rocks, woke up with the sound of some animals near him. Hi, Leo, said teacher. Oh, have you traveled all the way from the other side of the savanna just to wake me up? Oh, no, 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 my dear. Leo, not like that. We have come to seek help. Seek help. How can I help? Tell me, I'm the king of the jungle. I'm responsible for all the animals in the savannas. How can I help? Ginger and Mickey, both of them said the big problem that all of us are dying and we have no food to eat. What do we do? Hmm. Now the wise lion said, you are right. The rains have not yet hit the savannas. Grass is all dry. I can see that. Hmm. I have a plan. Why don't you gather all the animals from the grassland, from the savanna, and move towards the forest? That's the only option. We do not know when the rains would come. We do not know when the grass would flourish. It's very, very far. It's very far. We are going to take a lot of days to reach the forest. We might have to take three to four days walking without water and without food. I don't know if all the animals would be able to do that. You have no other option, said the wise Leo the lion. And that's what was decided by the king of the jungle. Now, Ginger the giraffe had a big responsibility. He wanted to take all the animals dying out of hunger the forest, to the jungle. It took the help of the birdie, the birdie who would fly all around the savannas and gather all the animals. Tomorrow is the big day. Birdie, you need to get all the animals near the riverside, a river which is completely dry, which has no water at all to bring them there and we would start our journey, journey to the forest nearby, which might have some food till the rains arrive. There goes Mickey, the elephant, the hippos, all the animals, the zebra, the deer, all of them gathered, all the animals eat leaves, the herbivorous animals, you know that? Yes, the animals eat leaves for their living. They all gathered and marched towards the forest. They gathered all the courage from Ginger, the giraffe, and said, we can do it, let's walk together. We can take care of ourselves. Let's walk towards the forest. Everything will be fine very soon. What do you think? Did everything become fine soon? Mm -mm -mm. They heard a sudden sound. That was thunder sound. And all the animals were scared. Why do you think were they scared? They were scared because when 
the clouds thunder up in the sky, there is lightning. And what happens with lightning? What do you think? You can tell me that. Yes, all the dry grass catches fire. Everything catches fire. Fire and the animals are very, very scared of fire. They run away from here and there when there is fire. And that's what exactly happened. The fire broke out when the lightning fell on the grass. And all the animals, they all started running here and there. Ginger was the one who said, stop. I can see where the fire is coming out from, from that side. Let's move from, to the other way and reach the forest as soon as possible. All of them took a turn. And they went on the left side towards the forest. All of them were all together. They were not scared anymore because the fire was on the other side. And they moved to the other side to reach the forest. And to the south. Rise of all the animals. You know what happened? Mickey, the monkey said, a drop fell on me. Yes, even a drop fell on me. What do you think it was? It was the rain. Yes. All the animals, the ginger, Mickey the monkey, the elephant, the hippo, all of them were very, very happy because they had drops falling from the sky. It was the rain. Yippee! They were all so happy. Ginger, you made it. You did it. I didn't do anything. We all were friends being together, walking towards the forest. And now we don't need to do that. We all are going to stay here because all the water is going to fill up the holes. It's going to make all the grass green. And we are going to have lots of food to eat. Ginger was so happy for all his friends. Once again, he went to his favorite tree and started nibbling leaves. That was the story of Ginger from Kenya, from the savannas. Even with us in the month of June, it's raining everywhere. All my dear children, enjoy the monsoon. Have fun. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.